So today is one of the, you know, the, the, the talk, the talk is today about TMS and stroke and other neurological disease, which is my favorite uh, area of interest in TMS. I do honestly believe that TMS is a great role in stroke and uh, it is our area of specialization. We offer TMS to uh, stroke patients, maybe around uh, 30 or 40 patients per day. And uh, they, have they have showed a significant improvement. Very excited to share our information with all of you. The last uh, week's discussion was about, I think, schizophrenia, which uh, we are not uh, involved. So that's why we didn't, uh, uh, I did not contribute to last week's uh, webinar. But today is, happens to be one of my favorite talks, favorite topics. So let me get started. We have huge interest in uh, the in TMS and stroke, huge interest. I think it is the future, it is a presence, is it is a present treatment too. And I think it has an immense potential in the future too. So we are very excited and we have huge interest both professionally and personally. And these are several patients who have got better. Let me share. So this is a, this a lady describes the improvement in her hand function after uh, TMS. She had come to us about, uh, I think, three months after stroke and she had significant hand weakness. So she came to us after three months and still she had very good improvement. And I believe that this improvement have, have would, it was possible only because of TMS and would not have happened if we had left for the natural history of stroke. This is another patient who came to us almost after one and a half year of stroke. So this is another video in which he uh, tells that he came to us one and a half year after stroke and he had significant difficulty walking and using his hand and after a few months sessions of uh, TMS he improved dramatically. Is now very independent and is able to use his hand and is actually even gone back to his livelihood. He drives a, a commercial vehicle and is able to do that now. So the, he's very excited about his uh, about him getting back his uh, strength and function of his hand and leg. So these are examples of TMS uh, role of TMS in stroke. And we do a lot of uh, TMS. We have been doing for almost four years. We do almost uh, for about uh, 40 patients per day, 40 patients per day. And in this talk, I'm going to describe some of the cases that uh, have dramatically improved with uh, TMS. Just, uh, just mentioned, it was Merton and Morton in back in 1980, who introduced that brain can be stimulated through the motor cortex using electricity, but it was very painful. So Dr. Barker's revolutionary treatment, revolutionary discovery of uh, using a magnet uh, that can be transmitted through the scalp and the skull onto the underlying cortex, uh, generating a small electric, electric impulse within the cortex. And most importantly, this treatment was painless. Unlike the electric, uh, uh, the current, uh, transmission this was uh, this was painless and since 1985 it has seen an exponential growth obviously you all know about strokes strokes occurs because of decreased blood supply to the brain which results in functional loss and loss of neurons and it is obviously a big burden to the society unfortunately neuronal repair is limited and treatment options are limited and brain stimulation i think is uh, I think is a, 
uh, is expanding the horizon of treatment options that are available for stroke. And I think it will continue to play an important role in the future. What are the long-term functional disabilities? Most importantly, they have difficulty using their hand, difficulty walking, tightness, which is generally called as passivity, dysphagia, which is difficulty swallowing, speech disturbances, cognitive issues, and secondary depression. Brain stimulation is a novel form of treatment which has become which has made rapid uh, strides in the recent past over the last two decades. Obviously, brain stimulation consists of non-invasive and invasive. Invasive is called as deep brain stimulation, which consists of placement of electrodes within the brain. Even that, I think, uh, has a role. But today, we are going to only talk about the role of non-invasive brain stimulation in stroke. The, this field of non-invasive brain stimulation is rapidly increasing. Among the non-invasive therapies, the TMS and TDCS are very popular. Stage of the stroke also early within one month, subacute within one to three months, delayed three to twelve months after stroke, late even after one year beyond after stroke. We treat, we offer TMS therapy for all groups of patients, whether they come early, subacute, delayed, late, whatever is the duration of uh, the time between the presentation to us and the stroke we offer TMS. So we actually have patients who had stroke just like few days ago. They're in ICU and still we have offered TMS therapy to them. And we studied is we have offered TMS to all patients who come into our uh, hospital, to our clinic and who underwent who underwent TMS therapy as we had advised forms group one and who did not receive TMS therapy as advised our group two, we compared the outcomes and uh, our adverse effects when psychological assessments. No adverse events was noted in so many of the sessions, 40,000 sessions that we have done so far. None of our patients had any adverse events, maybe mild pain that uh, subsides with a, a, a tablet of paracetamol. Beyond that, we didn't have any seizures or any untoward incidents. Because we uh, we prescribed, we follow the prescribed uh, guidelines for uh, TMS. So brainstem, we uh, do something a little different. Uh, we actually stimulate both hemispheres, irrespective of which side the stroke was uh, um, stroke. We uh, stimulate both uh, sides of the cerebral hemispheres and uh, also stimulate the left DLPFC. See, this is a patient in the ICU. He had a stroke because of uh, uh, some hemorrhagic contusions. And uh, we are performing, uh, he had neglect. And in the ICU itself, we are, able, we, are able, we are doing TMS for this patient. This patient had uh, it, it improvement in dysphagia after two months after stroke. Is now earlier picture, he was on Ryle's tube. Now this is without his Ryle's tube. And even hand function improved in several of these patients. And even a review of literature shows a strong correlation between uh, TMS therapy and a good outcome. It is difficult to do large studies because stroke is such a varied disorder. It has different presentations and even individuals uh, are different. So it is, I think, not proper uh, to expect a uniform outcome in these patients. But I think TMS has a great role. We have been using it uh, TMS in our clinical practice for last three to four years. I think it has a great role. And I believe that it is uh, very safe. Uh, we have done uh, TMS for uh, several hundreds of patients and they all have done well. I think you should all consider doing TMS uh, in our day-to-day -day clinical practice, all neurologists, whoever is involved in, uh, uh, involved in uh, a stroke. I think they should, uh, they, should, they should take up TMS in a big way. Our uh, protocol is different from others that we have stimulated abnormal uh, hemisphere more aggressively. 
other uh, studies they have not stimulated most of the time they have inhibited the normal hemisphere we were able to do it more aggressively in our practice because we do it in a hospital setting uh, most other studies have done in clinical uh, small clinic setting where they are afraid, they are afraid of stimulating the normal hemisphere, hemisphere as they expect a seizure to occur we are not worried because we are uh, we are fully equipped uh, to handle any such uh, events fortunately none of such events have happened but uh, they we are worried there are other other studies have not uh, taken up stimulation of the abnormal hemisphere as aggressively as we have done and we have used a longer duration we have not promised uh, improvement in uh, 10 sessions 5 sessions 15 sessions some of the patients have gone uh, go have have taken like 1200 uh, i mean sorry 100 sessions so i i think the trick is to continue tms therapy till uh, till a satisfactory clinical outcome occurs which may occur early in some patients late in some patients but i think eventually all patients do uh, do respond and i think it is just matter of time before they do so so even in we have used it in for hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy patients so this is a lady who has come from abroad she was not able to walk and i think few days later she uh, she is even able to walk and even dysphagia patients again this is a patient who has a right tube and now she is able to swallow and here is another where we have integrated a non invasive infrared uh, helmet with our uh, other uh, in non invasive therapies this is able to swallow this is able to swallow liquids which i think is a, was uh, which is i think is a great achievement and even in cases where we have not un understood the cause of stroke we have done uh, tms therapy and i think uh, we have uh, we have we are intervening very early you see some of the cases that i showed we were doing it in uh, in uh, icu itself and all forms of stroke i think respond if you use it for longer period of time i think if you feel tms is not helping i think you should continue it a little longer and it is uh, just matter of time before it uh, helps all have all our patients have eventually responded to some or great extent and we we have been doing tms even in the first 14 days of stroke and i think it should best uh, integrated with other non invasive forms of tm of uh, uh, brain stimulation i think tms therapy at present should be considered as a standard of care in stroke rehabilitation and any other neurological diseases in which standard treatment is not available even i had given a similar talk a few months uh, i think back and since then also we have uh, we have performed a tms therapy several hundreds of patients and our experience is increasing our knowledge is increasing our confidence in tms therapy efficacy and safety is also increasing so i think i stand more confident about tms therapy now than a couple of months earlier thank you i'll be happy to answer any questions uh, you have in any of this regard